In this question, we need to figure out the total number of ways in which 20 different pearls of two colors can be sold alternately on a necklace, there being 10 pearls of each color. Okay. So, as per the question, there are 20 different pearls of two colors, 10 of one color and 10 of another color and all 10 being different, right? So, one color and another color. Now, the condition which is given to us is different pearls of two colors can be set alternately on neck necklace, right? So, now, what if, what we know about the circular permutation? that the circular permutation of n distinct object is n minus 1 factorial. Yes. So, for that, what we are trying to do over here is, suppose this is a necklace, right, round necklace. And I am trying to pick the 10 of one same color, but all the pearls are uh, different. So, here I am trying to arrange those 10 in this circle, right. So, how can I do that? By 9 factorial. Isn't it? So, number of ways of arranging 10 pearls of one color in a circular manner is 9 factorial, right? So, 10 pearls are arranged 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10, right? Now, 10 are there. Now, the idea is the agenda is to arrange rest 10 in the gaps, yes. So, now let us change the color, red color. So, this is one gap, second, third, fourth. 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th and 10th. In circle, if you arrange 10 objects, then gaps will be 10 only, unlike linear. So, in linear, how many gaps will be there? One more than the objects. In circular, exactly same as the number of objects. So, 10 we have arranged in circular permutation. So, 10 gaps are there. So, 10 gaps are there. 10 rest remaining pearls are there. So, now... We need to arrange that and positions are fixed. So, no need to apply n minus 1 factorial over here because now the positions are marked 10 places, 10 pearls. This can be done by, so 10 gaps are there, right? So, this can be done by 10 factorial. 9 factorial multiply 10 factorial will be the ways, but wait. So, let's uh, understand number of ways of arranging 10 pearls. Of one color in circular manner already discussed 9 factorial and this was 10 factorial right but necklace in necklace what happens is uh, if you talk about the uh, position so position would be this the front of the necklace would be exactly same as the back of the necklace or you can say anti-clockwise and clockwise arrangement are one and same thing so here we need to divide this by two so, number of circular permutation of n distinct things, if clockwise and anti-clockwise direction are not different, then that would be what? n minus 1 factorial by 2. So, this would be 9 factorial multiply 10 factorial by 2. The final answer that uh, would exactly match with which option? Okay. So, 10 factorial multiply 9 factorial by 2. So, I am taking out 9 factorial out of this. So, I will be left with 10 by 2. That is 5 multiply 9 factorials. Option D is the correct one. Got it? In this question, it is given that all the rearrangements for the letters of the word demand are written without including any word that has two Ds appearing together. If all these are arranged in dictionary order, then we need to de determine the rank of the word demand. Okay. So, this is the word demand and let's arrange all the letters in alphabetical order. So, first would be E and then D again D and then first would be actually A, then D, then D and then E, M, N, right? A, D, D, E, M, N. Cool. And the condition is no two Ds should be together. So, what we are going to do is we'll find all the words starting from A in which no two Ds are together, then we'll find all the words starting from D. But in fact, demand is the word we need, we need to, the rank of demand we need to figure out. So, we'll stick at A first. So, let's start the calculating the number of words starting with A. Right, A is fixed. And how many letters do I have if A is gone? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 letters, 5 places. That can be done by 5 factorial ways. But there are two Ds, right? Two identical Ds. So, that for that, 2 factorial. So, if you solve this, you will get 60 as the answer, right? 5 factorial by 2 factorial is nothing but 60. But wait, 
the condition is no 2d should be together in this count 60 which are which are the words starting from it there must be some words in which both the d's are together that we need to subtract from the 60 right let's do that so again a is fixed this time a is fixed but two d's are together we are counting those words in which two d's are already together and we are going to subtract this from 60 so two d's are together that will that will occupy two places so this is one unit a is already gone right one unit is there second third fourth so four units are there four places would be there because these two d will occupy two places for example these two so one place two three four four places four units that can be done by four factorial ways that is 24 right now 60 minus 24 are all those words which are starting with a but having no 2d together yes just like this words starting with a without these edges into each other would be 60 minus 24 that would be equals to 36 now next next, next set comes all the words starting with d but here we are interested in the word demand right that means we cannot count all the words starting with d because that in between will include my word will surpass my word so that means we need to go beyond this starting with d so what would be the next letter after d so that would be d alphabetically order d a right so word starting with d a so d a is fixed so one d is gone a is gone now i have four letters four all four are different so word starting with d a would be what four factorial right so, 4 factorial, that simply means 24 words, starting with DA. Okay, once DA is sorted, tell me what would be your next letter in series. So, DA, 1D is already gone, starting with D. DA, after DA, DE will come. D is fixed. After A, E will come, right? But you will say, uh, DA, so after this, DD should come, right? Alphabetically, after A, D is there. But DD we are skipping because two Ds are together already, right? So DD would be there, but in this question, two D should not be together. So that means we are skipping this particular series and we are moving straight ahead to DE. So all the words starting with D, if I count, my word will include that. If I try to count, my word will be in between and I'll be surpassing this. So that means DE. So after DE, what would be the very first? DE is gone, right? What would be the very first letter after DEA? Of course, so DEA. Now, DEA, my word doesn't start with DEA. That means we need to count and move on, right? DEA, okay. So, word starting with DEA. So, DEA is fixed. D is gone. E is gone. A is gone. One, two, three. Three letters are there that can be arranged in three factorial ways because all three are different. So, six words are there. So, DE is fixed. DE is fixed. DEA is gone. Now, next comes DEA is gone after A, D, E, D, right? So, words starting with D, E, D would be again same, 3 factorial, that is equals to 6. So, D, E, D is also sorted. So, D, E, A is there, D, E, D is there, E is already gone. So, D, E, M, now is the term turn for D, E, M, isn't it D, E, M? Okay, so if I fix D, E, M over here, I'm not going to count all the words uh, related to DEM because my word would be in between that. I'm not going to, I don't want to surpass my word. DEM, after this A would be there, right? Because C, D is gone, E is gone, M is gone. So, very first letter in alphabetical order would be A, right? A is also gone, right? DEMA. Now, DEMA is my word. Demand is starting with DEMA. Isn't it? D E M A is fixed. Cool. Now, D E M A is fixed. So after this, after this, listen to me carefully. Okay. N will occur or D will occur. That you need to tell me. So for that, D will occur first, and then N in the next next word after this, right? And then D E M A is still fixed. Now this will interchange N D, right? This will be both the words starting from DEMA. So, two words would be starting from DEMA and my word will be the second word. So, I'll count these as two. Are you getting my point? I'll count these words as two only. Okay. So, word starting with DEMA would be what? Two factorial and two words would be there. What would be the first word? First would be this, second would be this and I'm interested in the second word. Now, I have to stop it over here right so uh, 
So already discussed D E M A D N would be the first, and second would be my word demand. Now I just need to add all the numbers which we have calculated. So thirty six is words starting with A which are not including two D together, and then this is what D E A. So this is what starting with A. This is what D E. Sorry, starting with D A, right, and then D E A. Right, starting with D E A would be six. Then this is what D E D, and this is D E M A D N and N D. Right, so second word. So if you add this, you will get seventy four. So seventy four would be the rank in dictionary. Option B, seventy four is correct. Got it. In this question, it is given that if a six-digit number is made using all the digits one, two, four, five, seven, eight, then the position of five, four, one, seven, eight, two, when all formed digits are arranged in descending order, we need to figure out. So, actually, usually what happens is we arrange the number in ascending order, isn't it? One, then two, then three, then four, and this is reverse counting actually, which we used to do in. Our earlier days, right? In childhood days, reverse counting, hundred, ninety-nine, ninety-eight. So if we need to think about this, that the very first number formed by all these digits would be what? Eight, seven, eight, seven, five, four, two, one, right? And the last number would be one, two, four, five, seven, eight, right? So we need to think in this way, okay? So for for this, what we are going to do actually is we'll start. We will start counting the numbers. So first, the number, all the numbers will count, which will start with eight, and then in the series will come all the numbers which will start with seven, and then in the series all the numbers which will start with five. But wait, we are interested in the number starting with five. Okay, so in the beginning, what would be the 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 beginning number, the the first number which is starting with five? So that would be five is already gone, right? So now eight seven four two one. Right, so five eight. So starting with five eight would be there. But here we are interested in starting with five four. So five eight would be there. Then the numbers will start with five seven, isn't it? So five seven, five and seven is gone. Now the number will start with five four. Okay, so we are interested in this. We don't need to count all the numbers starting with five four because we are interested in this. Now very first number which will start with five four will be so five and four is gone. Now the next number would be eight. So numbers starting with five four eight we need to count because we are not interested in the numbers starting with five four eight. We are interested in the numbers starting with five four one. Okay. So after five four eight all the numbers starting with five four eight the number comes numbers starting with five four seven, right? So five four seven would be there. And then number starting with five four two would be there, isn't it? And last the number starting with five four one would be there. But we don't need to count all the numbers because in between I'll get my number. Okay, so five four one would be there. And now we can think about what would what would be the very first number starting with five four one. So five four one is gone. Now eight seven two would be the in this order. Eight seven two would be our number. And okay. Eight seven two. So now next number would be what five four one is fixed. Five four one is fixed. Eight seven two. We need to uh, think about a number which is slightly lesser than eight seven two. So that would be what eight. Okay, two seven. Is it yes eight two seven and five four one and then what now seven seven would be there and eight two. This would be our number, right? This would be our number. We need to think in this order. So starting with eight, right? Starting with seven, starting with five eight, five seven, five four eight, five four seven, five four two, and then starting with five four one eight, five four one eight, and then immediate next number to that would be five four one seven eight two. Okay, that we need to figure out. Let's. So this is the mind map. Now let's start the question. Available digits already given. Numbers have to be arranged in descending order. We already know this. Number starting from eight. For that, we need to fix eight at very first position. Eight is gone. Now tell me how many numbers? One, two, three, four, five. Five numbers. Five places that can be done by five factorial ways, which is equals to one twenty, right? 
Similarly, the number starting with 7 would be what? 125 factorial. And now the number starting with 5. But precisely the number starting with 5, 8 we need to figure out. So 5, 8 is fixed with the very first position. Okay. And now how many places do you see? 4 places. 4 numbers are there. 4 factorial. Right. So this is what? 24 numbers. So 5, 8 is sorted. Now next turn comes 5, 7. All the numbers starting with 5, 7 would also be 4 factorial. And now all the numbers starting with 5, 4. This is this my number will lie in that category. So not exactly 5, 4, but 5, 4. If you fix 5, 4, the very first number would be what? Starting with 5, 4, actually 8. Yeah, right. Because we are thinking about the largest number will lie in that category over the first place. So 5, 4, 8. But we are interested in my number is actually starting with 5, 4, 1. So 5, 4, 8. So numbers starting with 5, 4, 8, we need to figure out, right? So numbers starting with 5, 4, 8 would be. So 5, 4, 8 are fixed at the very first push position. So next three numbers will be 3 factorial. Arranged by 3 factorial ways. So these are the 6 numbers. Now 5, 4, 7. Again 3 factorial now. 5, 4, 7 is sorted. 5, 4, 7. After 5, 4, 7, I will get 5, 4, 2. Again 3 factorial, right? And here comes 5, 4, 1. So my number lie in this category. So if 5, 4, 1 is fixed, now what is what would be the first number? Uh, so 5, 4, 1 is fixed, then 8 will come. Right? 5, 4, 1, 8. So we need to think about all the numbers which are starting with 5, 4, 1, 8. For that, we'll fix all the numbers. At all the four numbers at the starting position. So that would be what? 5, 4, 1, 8 will be fixed at the first four positions. And two factorial ways, we can arrange rest two numbers. So that will be 2. Okay. Now, so 5, 4, 1, 8 is sorted. Now next number would be, next series would be 5, 4, 1, 7. Right? 5, 4, 1. Actually, my number is 5, 4, 1, 7, 8, 2. So next series would be 5, 4, 1, 7. Right, and the very first number starting with 5, 4, 1, 7 would be, so 5 is gone, 4 is gone, 1 is gone, 7 is gone. So now, now I'll pick the last number, 8, and this 2. So this is exactly matching with our number, right? So this is my number. I need to stop it over here. Rest, I'll add all the numbers which I have counted, add 1 to it. Let's not forget to add 1 to it. And then we'll actually count the Numbers. So 5 factorial plus 5 factorial plus 4 factorial, 4 factorial, 3 factorial, 3 factorial, 3 factorial, 2 factorial will be equal to 308. And my number would be this number, which is 309th position. So 309 is the correct answer for this particular question, right? So 309. Got it?